Seeking Wisdom. Now this book's backwards because the phone's flipped, but that's what it says, Seeking Wisdom. And you know, somebody asked me, um, how should you focus? What should your daily routine be? I'm gonna tell you this, depending on who you listen to, you can get a whole bunch of advice. You can tell, you know, you need to be healthy, you need to eat right, get a six pack. Other people tell you you need to pursue money, get your, you know, what they say, secure your bag. Other people tell you, you gotta find love. That's the most important thing. Other people are gonna say happiness. This is the most important thing. But Confucius said, the man who chases two rabbits catches none. And even though I'm a big fan of going after health, wealth, love, and happiness, that's four things. <laughs> the man who catch, you know, pursues four rabbits definitely gets none, or a woman. I don't know why Confucius said just men, but you know, times have changed. So I'll tell you what a friend told me. Because if you're not careful in life, you ain't gonna get anything done. Because there's too much to do. If you're like me, you're busy. You know, I'm just catching up here before I go to bed. I wanted to record this video a while ago. I'm just getting to it now. I'm sure you're busy. I have a friend named Alex, and he said he came up with this term called the atomic use case. I said, where the hell did you get that from? He goes, I don't know. I just made it up. And I said, what's the atomic use case? He said, well, you basically focus on this one thing, and by doing it, everything else lines up, kind of like dominoes. You push one, boom, 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 boom. You just got to push the one, and the four all fall into place. So what are the four things that fall, that you got to focus, uh, what are the one thing you got to focus on that all four of those will fall in place, that you'll be healthy, that you'll have wealth, that you'll have love, that you'll be happy, you know, the good life, all those things. <clears throat> and maybe it's what this book is about, seeking wisdom. Wisdom is common sense, and common sense isn't common anymore. You see, if you get wisdom, you'll know what to believe about being healthy because there's a lot of diet fads out there. You'll know what to believe about being wealthy because there's a lot of get-rich-quick schemes that don't work. There's some get-rich-quick ones that ain't too bad. <laughs> you know, not get-rich-quick overnight. Those don't work. But there's ones, I call them get-rich-quicker. Most people on that slow train, they're going to be rich when they're 153, if you do the math. That's the slow train. You won't be alive. So get ri you don't want to get rich quick, but you do want to get richer quicker. And I'm not talking about everyone needs to be a billionaire. That's not practical. But financial independence is achievable, I believe, by everybody, especially if, depending on what countries you live in. Some countries are a little bit harder than others. But, um, you know, if you're in a Western country with democracy, you should be able to pull it off, even though it's hard, even though there's forces pulling against you. If you got that wisdom, that common sense, like I said, it isn't common. You don't learn in school. What does Jim Rohn say? My favorite quote right now, formal education will make you a living, but self-education can make you a fortune. Think about what that means, the practicalities of that. It basically means this, that you go through the school system. You go through the average upbringing. I don't know how your upbringing with your parents were, but curiosity is killed. It's killed young by parents telling you to not ask so many questions and just accept what they believe. It's killed by the school system that doesn't have time or the curriculum for you. And so what happens is curiosity is the precursor to wisdom. You've got to be curious to be wise. You've got to understand. It's kind of like a car. If you want to be wise about a car, you can be able to flip the hood of the car, look inside, and understand how the engine works. Because if you don't have that, any mechanic could tell you anything and rip you off. And that's how most people's lives uh, become. They get ripped off because they don't understand what's under the hood. They don't understand how the engines work. They don't understand psychology of how people. That's part of wisdom. You've got to know how to read people. They don't understand how economics work. So they don't understand a little bit about the stock market. You got to know about real estate. You know, you got to know about persuasion and sales because sometimes you're going to have to show people your side of the story and do it convincingly enough that they believe you. You know, I, uh, part of the reason I've made uh, some of my businesses around online education, you know, I got the 67 steps and I got the online real estate and social media marketing agency and the accelerator to teach you how to become an entrepreneur. I got these different programs because I realized it's not out there unless you read a lot of books and most people don't have time to read books. So it becomes very tricky in the modern world to get this wisdom because most people ain't wise. Most people don't take the time. Most people's curiosity has been killed. So you got to re revive it in yourself. You know, I was with Grant Cardone earlier today, and one of the things that stuck out of my mind, uh, I did an interview, he interviewed me on his, on his 
Grant Cardone TV, and he'd make a lot of money there. But one thing that stuck me out is for you to be able to accomplish that, right? He's a smart guy. He's put in his years, you know, figuring out how to do that. And for you, at the end of the day, if you don't have common sense and wisdom, you'll make a lot of money or you lose it. Did you know the average person who wins the lottery is broke five, six years later? The average professional athlete, you know, the NFL the football, <laughs> National Football League, they actually call that not for long. Meaning, your money you have, you don't play long because you get injured and you don't have your money long uh, because you don't know how to manage it and invest it. So you got to know what's under the hood of life. You got to know how to read people. You got to know a little bit about public speaking. You got to know a little bit about sales. You got to understand marketing. And now in the modern world, you got to understand social media. You know, if you got an idea, how else are you going to read people? Mark my word, the days of billboards, the days of even TV advertisements and radio advertising, yellow paste is all disappearing. I'm reaching you right now through social media. Bow, right there. And you can do the same thing when you have an idea, when you've got a business plan, when you have a product, you want to read a lot, reach a lot of people, but it's going to take wisdom because social media isn't just a formula that you just go, I'm going to post something. Millions, hundreds of millions of people post and most people don't see it. You got to know how to stand out from the crowd. That's understanding the cognitive biases and understanding how to read people and understand their personality types. Not all people are the same. There's probably, depending on which scientist you ask, anywhere from 10 to 20 major personality types, archetypes, you could call them. So again, that means you got to do a little study. And I'm not just talking about flip open a book and answer questions and do a little quiz, you know, if you're in college or high school or a night school if you're an adult. No, I'm talking about common sense ain't common. Can you do the practical stuff? You know, and a lot of it's simpler than we try to make it. So, yeah, this Charlie Munger book, Seeking Wisdom, you know, that that's, it, I'll give you an example. That's why the social media marketing program, I close it and I open it back up. I close it. You know, I, I, I Part of wisdom is understanding that most people are never gonna get with the program. So what you're doing, don't make yourself 100% available to all people because most people are fools and you don't want to surround yourself with fools. So I got that social media marketing program. I'm like, I'll show you how you can do this and make some money full-time, part-time. got people making 10, 20. This, I think a guy making 50, 60,000, you know, not everyone does that. Obviously he's an exceptional case, but he's only 21. I'm not that exceptional. So I open it up and say, who's really hungry, who ready to learn? And amazingly, even when I show results, half the people are either skeptical, you know, because when you don't have common sense, you don't know when to be open-minded versus when to be pessimistic. That's a balancing. Sometimes you must be cynical, but sometimes cynicism closes the doors on opportunities. You know, people don't get that. Sometimes cynicism closes the door on opportunity. And sometimes it's wise to be cynical because you're about to be ripped off. You got to know how to discern and tell the difference. That's common sense, a.k.a. wisdom. I close that program down. Some people are like, why can't I get in? I closed the real estate one for six months. People thought I was joking. No, I do that on purpose because it separates. It separates the hungry from the fakers. People hungry to learn from the fakers. And then as people graduate, I open up a few spots. Let them, I think it's open right now. Social media thing. But I'm going to close it back up and then people snooze, they lose. You got to know how to do that. You got to know how to probe and test. Most of your problems will come from people even more than econ economics and who's the president and recessions. Those cause problems, don't get me wrong, and weather causes problems and hurricanes and all that, earthquakes. But the majority of people's problems are getting along and being people exploiting you. So that's another big thing. That's one of the things that you learn when you do social media. You learn to read people because you interact with a lot of people. I get thousands and thousands of comments a day across all my social media and emails. And it's taught me, it's made me, I think, have a little more common sense that I didn't have before. So at the end of the day, your ability to get health, wealth, love, happiness, the four pillars of the good life, come from a single-minded focus on wisdom. And what is wisdom? Well, it's the common sense you get from being curious and observant and trying things and not being afraid, not procrastinating, being fearful, you know? So I hope you find it. Um, I'm seeking it. 
I don't always, you know, I stumble upon it at times. Sometimes I'm wise and sometimes I'm a fool. And uh, hopefully, as you get a little experience, the days where you're foolish um, are outnumbered by the days that you're wise and you put a little common sense. You know, get out on a farm too. Get out of the city. City will make you lose touch with reality. Go take a hike. Go camp. You know, go take a boat out, fishing boat out in the middle of the ocean. Something to reconnect, get grounded. And if you do these things, the reward is you can get that health. You can get, you make money. You know, get that health, wealth, love, and happiness. Those are the byproducts of that single-minded atomic use case. So, yeah. All right. Talk to you soon.